isn't one anymore. I hope it's a storm. Today it worked kind of. Yesterday, uh, kind of too, but no, no, not at all. Now I can't even book, book, book my hotel, hotels. So I don't know what to do. Do I again go to the hotel to hotel to ask around if you got a room? For freak's sake! There's a little traffic in here. Not lucky. In not like in Lapland. I wanted to take a mark on the right. Is it radiation or Wi Fi? <laughs> Huge difference, and I don't know it. Uh, is it radiation or Wi Fi? I'm still on that traffic. It's getting really annoying. Exercising my left leg. Ah. Now it's my free time. Look at the clouds and relax. No more explorations. Have a little vacation just to myself now. But I take you guys with me. I always wanted to go in Bruges. So let's go see that town and have some fun. Eat some chocolate pancakes, museums, and all, all kind of sightseeing stuff. Uh, let's go. We are at nearly at Bruges, the movie, at the, at the town where the movie was in Bruges, Colin Farrell. Um, what was I was saying? Yeah, it's still raining and still my internet. Any, Oh, telephone services doesn't work on my phone, so I don't can book for hotels. So I don't know what's going on and what's going to happen. We are at Bruges. I feel like all the time that I shouldn't drive this street. Mm, nice church. walking street and I invading it with my car. A lot of people here, what's going on? We're gonna leave my car, we're gonna ask for help. Spot. Nothing else than this. Hmm. Um, now what? There seems to be a lot of people in the center. Well, I'll go check it out. That I go drops around there, and maybe there comes hotels uh, under my nose, and lot of and do some t sightseeing. Relax. Take it easy, like that. Okay, now I decided to relax a little bit. I saw this boat ride and in instantly wanted to go. Uh, I think those are swans. A lot of swans. Oh, by the way, this there was a guide who drove the boat, um, told all the time everything about everything in here. 
but he spoke in French, I think. <laughs> I didn't understand a thing. I just enjoyed the ride. What's the nice architecture? Just even just look at that house. It's beautiful. There were uh, surprisingly a lot of tourists in here, in this town, this Bruges. That they told that this was a beautiful town, and it was. It really was. I would go again. I only saw a tiny bit of this place. Let's look at that <laughs> architecture. I think it's called ca canals, just like in Amsterdam. I think, uh, I don't think, I just, no, no, I don't think, just continue to ride. Has a brick tower and is 122 meters high. Among its many treasures are a virgin and child by Michelangelo in white marble, and the mausoleums of Charles the Bold and his daughter Mary of Burgundy. Um, some reason that guy spoke English in at that part of the tower when he talk about the tower. I don't know why. Many times I get confused in this country. Uh, but very good, nice country. I only had good experiences about this country. I went so many towns and every town was great. Um, only Liege had some rough nightlife. Um, I saw a couple of old ladies smoking crack in the middle of the street. That was interesting. <laughs> I also have a lot of churches in here. Uh, I went many of them. They are beautiful. And I think also this place, there was a... They, you shouldn't be photographing in, the, in this place. I, I think it's denied, but I forgot that. <laughs> like many others did too. But it's a beautiful place. It should be photographed, filmed. Great architecture here. This last town, this Bruges, really was a nice gift to myself. <laughs> one, and, one and a half day to just to myself to relax but of course i wanted to you guys be there with me when i'm relaxing seeing all this massive architecture so detailed so big so tall i was so baffled when i walk around here just kept mosing around <laughs> like some village idiot <laughs> filmed everything. Uh, I'm that kind of person that I don't really seek the information about these places. I'm not kind of that kind of guy. I'm that kind of guy that who feels things when I go to these places. It's hard to explain, but are, are you, any of you, that kind of person that want to feel more than you know the information? So much tourists. I, well, I guess these are tourists. Um, I just look at those castles. Are those castles? What? Beautiful. I must come here again. Beautiful, beautiful town. And I had an idea when I looked at that. Maybe we should go up. up. Oh, 
but let's check out that player who suddenly start playing with blowing instruments which I like them because I tried to play sax once in a while This climbing was surprisingly nice, even though it was a really good exercise at the same time, times to my time, ties. And, and this was an adventure of its own, climbing there. I felt like a rat in a maze. And that kind of thing is kind of a point in urban exploration. Be lost be in trouble. That's kind of a being a, well, like in an adventure. And this <laughs> stairs felt like they were walked millions and millions of times. Just look, I don't film them very good, but they are really worn out. There's not much to say about this. Just climbing the old stairs. Oh, well, by the way, when I was uh, lining there in a queue, queue, is that English? I'm not sure. <laughs> queue. Uh, uh, there were some, uh, I think, I don't know what, where he was, but he was uh, I learned this skill in uh, Russia, where he paper clipped uh, silhouette por portrait of my face. It looked just like me. He scissored, looked at me a little bit and scissored the picture looked like me. That, that was amazing. <laughs> Is there a line?
sorry. Small places. <laughs> Okay, I just came down from there and now I think I've never, go, never tried before Japanese ramen before the Japanese restaurant near so I'm going to try it decided to go an art museum like you said I mean like you saw the title Salvador Dali he's always fascinated me really of course I don't know the meaning of these art things Yes, uh, Salvador Dali was a Spanish uh, art painter, mainly sur surrealistic paintings. Something that nobody has ever done. Also, sc sculptor, uh, hard word, sculptor, he did, did those two. And these were actually original paintings and drawings and so no fake ones here. Um, of course I move a little bit too fast this camera because my eyes is I see much more quicker these than the camera so that's I, I move too fast for you guys. I'm not sure if I should be quiet and let you enjoy these paintings. Salvador Dali, yes. Or should I just keep narrating? Uh, if you just want to be quiet, just push the mute button. But really, these paintings are that kind of thing. I could spend hours here just immerse into these paintings. Just even look at that. <laughs> Is that freaking green? Face hugger from, from Alien? Unchin Andeleu. Salvador Dali's movie. That's not, was a little bit shocking. <laughs> yes. I think it's time to go, I mean, leave this. Museum. museum. Um, it's, I know you guys have, have difficulties to immerse to, into these paintings because I move so fast. So let's move, move to the uh, center of the city, the Bruges. So let's go out and see something else. And before that, look at that weird thing. Eating, I decided to visit Salvador Dali Museum quickly. I had an impulse of going there because, and by the way, I'm vlogging in public. It's much easier here because there's so many people that I'm no, never gonna see again. Um, now, this Japanese restaurant, first one of my life I tried had to try have to try I mean let's see I had another impulse I need to go to a torture museum to get this Same kind of I found on the abandoned school in Finland, but a bit bigger. Ooh. 
ice cream. Okay, now we are going to part of my videos. If you have children, uh, maybe they shouldn't watch these, even though these aren't real people. Those are man manicures, or oh, that's a hard word, manicures. Uh, dolls, I say dolls. But the subject is so horrible here. So no, this is not, <laughs> not for children. Ew. Jeez. How cruel man can be. Mask of shame. I really don't understand why they had to invent these kind of ways to torture people. I'm too fast. But look at those. Iron shoes with spikes. Yay. Half of these I don't understand how they work. Uh, executioner. Ooh, the horse, what the? Oh, you sit on the, that. Uh, oh. I wonder if those are real paintings or just printed pictures. Guillotine. It's cool but horrible at the same time. <laughs> kind of a switch would be beautiful decoration to my home. What's going on here? Oh screwing head to the bench. This chapel, I don't know what's going on. What are you doing? I have no idea. What are you doing? Oh, oh you have this chin. Oh, ow. <laughs> ah, not funny, but horrible. Yes, I'm cooking something. Oh, that barrel thing. I remember that. Yeah, he. he lives there for ages and he kind of a rotten starts rotting inside Ugh. people oh water drop Japanese invention every drop will start to feel more heavier and heavier and heavier oh I am in Chinese invention not in Japanese okay Let's buy weights what is that do you guys know any of these things, what these are? Have you seen these before? I bet in some movies. Weeping things here, yeah, that's common in Finland, sauna. Wood cage. I don't understand. 
cage without floor usually hung around high uh, outside. Oh, you had to keep hanging it there. Oh, then you drop from high height, real high. Oh, Vlad the Impaler. Isn't it the first vampire? Dracula. Vlad Dracula. I have fangs too. I don't know why I have fangs. What's oh, recording? Uh, uh, police. It keeps going round and round in here. Yeah? I went to a chocolate shop and have bought, of course, souvenirs. What else could you go take to your family than chocolate in Belgium? Mm, beer with this. Oh, Japanese restaurant still missing. Enjoy, uh, would you like another color or you good? Yes. Another color? Yeah. Oh. I'm at my hotel room now. I didn't find the Japan, Japanese place, even though I went to buy waffle sticks, which are covered with chocolate and sprinkles. Uh, that guy said me, said to me, said to me that uh, the place is already closed. So I went to a place that is called fine restaurant or no way quality restaurant. It was okay. Well, accidentally I ordered pa pasta, which turned out to be rice with shrimps, and I'm a a allergic allergic to shrimps, so it was kind of a, uh, so. So what now? Going to sleep tomorrow. Flight back to fin Finland. If nothing else. Miraculously, uh, well, I have some time to at the airport, and also my car returning. That could be a difficult, like finding one. It was. Let's see. But if we don't see again, bye and thumb up.